What's happening, guys? Keith here with your December 2nd edition of the Impact Report. So if you haven't checked out my review of this past week's episode of Impact already, you can do so by clicking the link at the top of the screen. Unfortunately, this past week's episode did not rank in Cable's Top 150, so there are no viewership numbers. Um, if that if those numbers do come out, I will definitely let you guys know. But as of right now, it does not look like we will be getting them for this week. Um, I do have numbers from the YouTube, however. Uh, the top three. Number three, Eli Gets Extreme versus Tommy Dreamer. This had 53,000 views. Number two, Taya Valkyrie unveils sick new finishing move. This had 55,000 views. And number one, Gail Kim returns to thwart Tessa Blanchard. This had 228,000 views, so four times the number that number two did. Um, the lowest for this past week was Eli Bales on his match with Tommy Dreamer, and that had 13,000 views. Uh, since this past week's episode was the last episode for the month of November, I have the top three viewed YouTube clips. Uh, number three from the... November 8th episode, Father James Mitchell owns Allie's soul. This had 69,000. Number two from November 15th, a demonic alley betrays Kiera Hogan. That had 127,000 views. And from this past week's episode, Gail returns to thwart Tessa Blanchard with 228,000 views. Very interesting to note that the three highest viewed clips from this past month were all knockout related. Uh, the lowest viewed clip was from the Thanksgiving Day episode with the, the competitors swear the turkey suit oath with only 8,000 views. Um, just to note, Impact Wrestling is only 6,000 subscribers away from the 2 million mark. They only hit 1 million last October. Um, they get about 2,000 subscribers a day, so we should get that announcement of them hitting the 2 million mark within the next couple of days. Once they hit that mark, I am going to do a video showcasing what an incredible year it has been for Impact Wrestling's YouTube page. So yesterday on Twitter, Rockstar Pro announced that they will be joining Impact Wrestling for a special event called Ohio vs. Everything. This will stream live on Twitch Friday, December 14th. No card has been announced. However, scheduled to be there is OVE, Matt Seidel, Eddie Edwards, Moose, Allie, Trevor Lee, The Rascals, and more. Jessica Havoc is also featured on the poster. So the rumors of Chris Jericho coming to Impact Wrestling have cooled down since Bound for Glory. However, yesterday, Chris posted an image to his Instagram account with Impact Management with the caption saying, Great time hanging and chatting with Impact Wrestling's Ed Nordholm, Don Callis, and Scott Demore last night in Toronto. So, oh, Chris is always doing something. Um, it also seems that there is no new news on the new TV deal. Uh, PW Insider reports that there is no end date set for Impact Wrestling's run on Pop TV. While the deal officially ends on December 31st, Impact and Pop will continue to work together while Impact looks for a new TV home in the U.S. Uh, Josh Matthews didn't comment on the change during a media call this past week. He said the worry used to be on if Impact would still be around, but they're past that and everyone would find out the next TV home together. So that is all I have for you guys today. I wasn't going to touch on the LAX and Evolve situation. I feel like that got blown way out of proportion. Um, I should be back Thursday for an explosion review, Friday with my Impact review, and Sunday with another episode of the Impact Report. Hopefully the viewership numbers will come out. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.